This memorial was made in memory of Gerardo Chacon. He was a Vista High School student and he was only 17. He was killed in a car crash because of underage drinking. This was completely preventable. I mean, in a few short months in 2009, there were multiple deaths of teenagers in just North County, all related to underage drinking. We want to raise awareness about this problem in our community and do something to change it. I think when somebody dies, it's huge, not only within the family, but within the community, because people are impacted by a death. And I think we are here doing this project because underage drinking doesn't just hurt yourself or your immediate family, it hurts the world. Uh, well, I was a drinker before age 21. Uh, I, I, you know, I loved it. That's how we grew up around here. That's, uh, that's how we know pretty much around here. Uh, do I think it's okay? I have an eight-month-old eight daughter. Do I think it's okay for her to drink in the streets? Obviously not. Three out of four students drink alcohol before the end of high school. Well, I wanted to join, um, work on this project, not only because I wanted to create a better future for my for myself and a better life but I wanted to prevent things like um, crashes for other people to happen and for people to lose people that they love I've actually um, witnessed my dad being drunk a lot of times and sometimes he gets the car and leaves and I have that sense of feeling like oh will he come back or will he not come back All right, a couple of weeks ago there's a house party over here and we had a kid leave drunk and was gone for about 30 minutes down the street and came around the corner about 90 miles an hour, plowed into another truck right about here, ripped the truck in half, took off. Uh, been having a lot of issues with drinking and driving lately, especially car accidents. Had a couple of my friends and a couple of them. Uh, one of my friend's sisters actually was just killed a few months ago. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for 15 to 20 year olds. It should be in a centered situation with adults, your parents more, more specifically, and it shouldn't happen very often. Maybe, I would say, once a month tops. Again, with parent supervising. Three out of four high school seniors, two out of three high school sophomores, and two out of five eighth graders have consumed alcohol. Um, I think parents have a lot to do with, you know, just influencing that and making sure that, you know, their children are, you know, looked after, you know, just communication-wise, making sure that they're okay. And, you know, looking at the friends, too, you know, if, if they see that, you know, some friends, you know, are into the drinking, I know most of the time it's, like, kept secret, but um, if you have that communication line between parents and, and kids, um, I think it should be all, you know, good to go. The underage drinking, would it be such a big problem or in our society, I guess, today? Well, the way I see it is underage drinking is so frequent these days. I mean, you go up to people all the time and they're like, oh, let's go drink this, let's go drink that. But, I mean, in commercials, they say, you know, don't give in to peer pressure and all that stuff. Well, that's the thing is, peer pressure is not that strong. I mean, unless you're in a gang or something, I've never experienced it where someone shoved it down my throat that I should drink. I mean, it's there or it's not there. You can choose it or you can't, you know? It's up to you. Just don't choose it. Each year, about 5,000 young people under the age of 21 die as a result of underage drinking. A lot of times I've been to get-togethers and it, it's always like, I've always questioned the fact that why can't people have fun without drinking? And it seems when I ask them, there's really no answer. So, I mean, there's plenty of more things that you could do. and other than drinking. <laughs> I feel the underage drinking is fun because you get shit faced. What happens is uh, younger kids, they look at videos and then they want to emulate what they see and then it turns into something, it escalates into something way more dangerous because they're not responsible yet and there's a lot of things that they haven't experienced to like really handle themselves under the influence. Most, for the most part, it's like socially acceptable and it's fun and it's usually during a time when you're really experimenting with pretty much everything in your world and part of that's, you know, doing mind-altering things and... So is it peer pressure? Is that it? 
Yeah, sure. It could be peer pressure to an extent, but some some kids are just more curious than others. You know, like I, I guess personally, I started. I think the first time I drank was sneaking liquor out of my dad's liquor cabinet. My like my brother is getting involved into alcohol and now like he quit school and like no longer um he no longer has any goals anymore. This issue really becomes personal to people when you do see people that you know and people that you love struggling with alcohol dependency. I mean, studies have shown that people who drink alcohol before the age of 15 are four times more likely to have alcohol dependency issues later on in life. I've seen plenty of people that just struggle every day with alcohol dependency and they can't go past their day without having a little of this, having a little of that, and it bugs me so much when I see the people that I love struggling with that. I have a lot of cousins that are girls, mostly, and they're, like, younger, and they drink, and some of them are pregnant, and it amazes me to see that, and, like, I see, like, little mistakes that can happen and consequences that we really just don't think about when we do things like underage drinking when we're not supposed to. Every day, on average, 11,318 American youth try alcohol for the first time.